Welcome back everyone. Today we learn about the accommodation reflex and pupillary reflex. We will look at the accommodation reflex first. The adjustment of the lens to focus light from from afar or near distance as a reflex action is called accommodation. Light rays must be refracted to focus them exactly onto to the retina, and it is refracted when it passes through. The cornea, aqueous humor, lens, and vitreous humor. The image formed onto the retina is upside down, however the brain interprets the image as upright. Let's explore the mechanism in greater detail. When the object is near. The light rays entering the eye are divergent. The ciliary muscles contract. The suspensory ligaments slackens. This causes the lens to be thicker and more convex. Decreasing the focal length. When the object is far. The light rays entering the eye are parallel or convergent. The ciliary muscles relax. The suspensory ligaments become taut. This causes the lens to be thinner and less convex. Increasing the focal length. Now, we will look at the pupillary reflex. Recall that the iris contains two muscles that control the size of the pupil, the circular muscle and radial muscle. The pupil is a hole in the middle of the iris. The pupillary reflex occurs in two scenarios, in dim lighting and bright lighting. In dim lighting, more light is needed to enter the eye hence the pupil dilates. In order for the pupil to dilate in dim light, the circular muscle of the iris relax. The radial muscle of the iris contracts. And the pupil dilates. Allowing more light to enter the eye. You can remember this process with the acronym CRRCD. In bright lighting, less light is needed to enter the eye hence the pupil constricts. In order for the pupil to constrict in bright light, the circular muscle of the iris contract, the radial muscle of the iris relax, and the pupil constricts, allowing less light to enter the eye. You can remember this process with the acronym CCRRC. That's all for today. Thank you for the effort to learn with me. Stay tuned for more interesting lessons. See you next time. Bye-bye.